Hi guys, welcome to Engineers YouTube channel and today we're going to talk about unit operations. So what do we mean by unit operation? In chemical engineering and other related fields, a unit operation is a basic step in a process. Okay, so let us talk more about that by looking at this example of chemical process. Uh, in this one, we have the flow diagram of a typical amine treating process used in industrial plants. Okay, so a chemical process can consist of widely varying sequences of steps. As you can see here, so we could find different steps or processes here like this absorber and we have a stripper right here. We have a pump. Okay, we have a condenser. Okay, we have another pump here. And yung mga, even yung mga pipings natin dito. No? So, in the design of the process, each step to be used can be studied individually if the steps are recognized. Okay, so that means in unit operation, we should be able to study each steps dito sa ating chemical process. So, some of the steps are chemical reactions whereas others are physical changes. The versatility of chemical engineering originates in training to the practice of breaking up a complex process into individual physical steps called unit operations and into chemical reactions. Okay, so when we start studying unit operation, you will be encountering a lot of these processes. So for example, ito nakikita natin ditong stripper, no? This is considered as a unit operation. But inside this unit operation, meron pa rin tayong unit operations dito. Like, we have a condenser, we have a pump. Okay, so itong mga to is another unit operation. So we have a unit operation inside a unit operation. Okay, so we could just take note of this principle. The widely varying sequences of steps can be reduced to simple operations or reactions which are identical in fundamentals regardless of the material being processed. Okay, so let us consider these main types of unit operations. First, we have the fluid flow processes, which includes um, fluid transportation, filtration, and solids fluidization. So these are just examples. No? So dito natin pag-aaralan yung mga flow ng ating fluids in the process. So just to visualize, for example, um, you will be taking a shower sa second floor ng inyong bahay. So basically, you need to pump the water from the ground floor papunta dun sa second floor kung saan ka magsa-shower. So there is a unit operation involved there in pumping and in the transportation ng ating fluid. No? And then we have the heat transfer processes which includes evaporation and heat exchange as an example. Okay, so for example, yun, you're taking a shower and then gusto mo siya ng maging warm yung water so you will be using heat exchanger. So hindi mo iboboil yung water, you will be using a heat exchanger kasi you don't want a boiling water kapag naliligo ka. No? So that's an example of unit operation in which we have the heat transfer processes. We also have mass transfer processes which includes gas absorption, distillation, extraction, adsorption, and drying you know, as an example. So, tulad nun sa ating pag-shower, maaaring isipin nyo, there is no mass tr transfer happening there but actually there is. That is why, um, for example, yung water natin na transport natin, it actually includes or it contains various chemicals or minerals like calcium, magnesium, in which at high temperature, pwede siyang ma-deposit doon sa surface ng ating pipes, which will cause fouling, no? yung tinatawag nating fouling. So, it affects our process because in order to have a proper transportation ng ating fluid, that means you will need to use more pumping, uh, which is actually means that there will be more energy requirement. Okay, so that means it affects our process. No? There is a mass transfer going on even on that process. Okay, then we have thermodynamic processes which include liquefaction and refrigeration as an example. Okay, so let's say after your shower, medyo warm, gusto mo nang medyo malamig, so you will be using like 
air conditioning. No? So that includes thermodynamic processes. And then we have the mechanical processes which includes trans solid transportation, crushing, and pulverization, and screening, and sieving. No? So pag-aaralan din natin yan sa unit operation. So we have here as an example itong screening process. No? So basically ito yung main types na unit operations na mapapag-aralan natin. Okay, so let us just have a bit of visualization sa mga unit operation processes. So we have here a tank na merong agitator, no? So as you can see, minimix niya yung ating fluid dito. So what do we call this one? Okay, it will depends kung ano yung ating objective. So if our objective is to mix or to agitate, we actually call this as agitator. But if we want to convert a material from A to B, so magkakaroon ng reaction, so this is what we call a reactor. So in real life, it will look like this. Okay, so compare dito sa ating figure dito, so in reality, there are more utilities, pumping, instrumentation, etc. associated with the tank. Okay, so may kita natin yan dito, may iba't ibang nakakonect sa ating tank. And meron din tayong hole dito, no, yung butas, tinatawag natin yung manhole, kung saan yung uh, mga technician or um, a person can go inside to clean the tank or do some maintenance. No? Okay, so yan yung example ng ating unit operation here. And also, we have like this, Ma maring nakikita na ninyo to sa mga books or sa internet or sa YouTube. So, ano bang tawag to ito? No? So, this is not an ordinary pipe. Okay, so, kung inisip natin, this is just for transportation, no? Because it will be costly to maintain itong maliliit na pipe dito. Mahirap i-maintain yan in reality. This is actually a shelling tube um, heat exchanger. So, it operates like what you can see on this um, animation here, no? So, meron tayong dalawang fluid na nagpo-flow in different direction. So, kapag nagkakaroon ng contact sa mga pipings nila, nagkakaroon ng exchange ng heat. Okay, so that is why it is called a heat exchanger. No? We're going to talk about that uh, when we reach that topic. And of course, nakikita din natin to sa ating books. So, these actually are distillation column. So, ito yung animation or figure na magre-represent dito. So, meron tayo dito atmospheric distillation column and dyan nang gagaling yung mga nagagamit natin as LPG. So, gasoline, uh, kerosene, light oil, heavy oil, asphalt. Okay, so dito nang gagaling yan sa ating distillation column. So, this is part of our uh, topic sa unit operations. Okay, so katulad nung napag-aralan natin, no, we have this type of chemical processes and then inside this chemical processes, meron tayong mga series of steps okay, in which itong mga steps na to pwede nating pag-aralan individually and we call that unit operations. For example, here we have fire heater which is basically a furnace and then meron din tayo ditong distillation tower, meron tayong pump, meron tayong reflux drum, meron tayong condenser. Okay, and other topics or processes na nandito. Okay, so that is unit operations, no? When we are able to study yung mga parts ng ating chemical processes. Okay, so katulad nung sinabi ko kanina, although this distillation process is a unit operation, but we can actually study individual parts of it, like the air condenser, the pumps, no? Yung pipings natin dito, that is all another unit operation topics. Okay? But sometimes kasi, halimbawa, napakaliit lang ng part ng piping and hindi siya masyadong concern sa process natin ngayon dito. So, it will be considered in unit operation as a one whole process. Okay? So, we are going to study this sa mga future videos natin dito sa Engineers YouTube channel. And by the way, guys, sa ating YouTube channel, uh, meron na tayo mga separate videos ng unit operations no so as you can see meron tayong videos about evaporation liquid liquid extraction distillation humidification okay meron din tayong heat transfer fluid mechanics at iba pa although marami pa tayong kailangang idagdag dito but we are working on that para makatulong sa inyong pag-aaral okay so i hope meron kayong natutunan dito sa ating lecture today 
Thank you very much and have a nice day.